Ukraine claims that Russia is now using its S-300 long-range surface-to-air missiles to attack land targets in Ukraine. Remarks by the governor of the southern Ukraine's Nikolaev state suggest that Russia's lack of standoff weapons for attacking land targets may be worse than thought. The S-300 apparently does have a little-known ground-to-ground capability. Nikolaev Oblast governor of Vitalikin made the above remarks on the social media of Telegram, but did not specify which version the Russian army is using. Russia uses the S-300 series on an 8x8-wheeled chassis and the S-300V on a tracked chassis, which provides improved anti-ballistic missile capabilities. Both the S-300, P and V series were used by Russia and Ukraine in the Ukrainian war. Despite detailed information in a 2011 article on a Belarusian naval news site, Western sources have reported little on the S-300 ability to strike ground targets. According to the statements in the article, the Belarusian military tested the ground strike capability of its S-300 air defense system against what they called important ground targets on the territory of a potential enemy during an exercise in the same year. Belarusian officials claim this is the first time the country has tested such a capability, which allows modified S-300 to destroy ground targets tens of kilometers away from firing positions. However, as the article points out, quote, Developers initially incorporated the possibility of striking stationary ground targets into the design of the S-300 air defense system, which entered service in 1979, and all subsequent improvements, unquote. At the time, Belarus was known to use the S-300PS, also known as NATO codename SA-10 Grumble, which was introduced in the mid-1980s and included five V-55R missiles with a maximum engagement range of 56 miles against air targets. The S-300 has a maximum range of 75 miles to ground targets, limited by the guidance system rather than the propulsion system. The missiles used in the S-300P family have an inertial guidance system, the updates of which are provided by a radio link and semi-active radar guidance in the terminal segment. In most cases, it is nearly impossible to illuminate the ground target, but inertial guidance and radio updates may provide enough accuracy to hit larger area targets. This is not unheard of. The giant Talos naval surface-to-air missile also has secondary land and surface attack capabilities against area targets, but it uses a nuclear warhead. Russia has or continues to test various functions of the S-300, backed up by the fact that the Russian S-300 in Syria has also been tested many times with similar functions. China, on other hand, leaps far ahead. Based on their HQ-9 long-range surface-to-air missiles they developed a new surface-to-surface -surface missile system so-called WS-600L. With new guidance technologies and more powerful rockets, WS-600L can reach over 300 miles and within 5 meters accuracy. Furthermore, the platform of WS-600L is universal, of which missiles can be launched in any setting. Such a mobile system can be formed as a networking distribution striking scheme to engage a large scale of missile guerrilla warfare in land and sea. This is indeed a gamer changer in modern warfare. WS-600L was revealed in this China air show. This year's 13th Zhuhai air show displayed a container-launched version of the missile system for the first time, which is the latest hypersonic missile multipurpose tactical missile system. WS-600L. The system adopts a vertical launch method that can perform 360-degree, omnidirectional attacks, not only attacking fixed targets, but also large moving targets such as surface ships. The precision guidance system makes the strike accuracy within about 5 meters. In addition to longitudinal maneuvering, it can also be used for horizontal C-type and S-type maneuvering ballistics, which will automatically turn to improve the penetration effect. The WS-600L missile uses a vertical thermal launch method and has a fast response speed. A launch vehicle contains four missiles, which can be used as ground-to-ground -ground and shore-to-ship missiles. It is equipped with different warheads to meet different combat requirements. The combat response time is fast, the preparation time is less than seven minutes, and the entire launch platform is intelligent, modular, and universal. Complied with export-related restrictions on the range of this export version WS-600L is limited to 290 kilometers. Domestic version would far exceed this limit. 
WS600L could use a high-altitude gliding trajectory, and the terminal attack speed will be as high as Mach 3 and fly speed up to Mach 6, which greatly increases the difficulty for being intercepted. The trajectory of the WS600L is no longer the original traditional parabola. It adopts a high-speed maneuvering flight mode in the atmosphere throughout the entire process in a hypersonic speed. In addition to longitudinal maneuvers, it can also do horizontal C-type and S-type maneuvering trajectories. It will automatically make a sudden change and then turn toward a target. Greatly improves the penetration effect. The WS-600L missile has a wide range of uses. It can carry a variety of warheads such as detonation, penetration, semi-armor penetration, and conductive fibers. It can strike fixed surface targets such as assembled personnel, vehicles, oil depots, artillery positions, and transportation hubs. It can also strike point targets such as missile positions, radar stations, and command posts. It can also achieve effective strikes against underground reinforcement targets and maritime mobile targets. The container weapon system is very suitable for the transition from civilian use to the military in the early stage of the war. It is a very good way of national defense mobilization. For the Chinese army, this is a very important reserve technology. Plus, this system is also attractive for the international arms sales market. The container version of the WS-600L is more concealed and flexible. It uses standard container loading methods. After camouflage, it is no different from ordinary cargo containers and has better concealment. At the same time, due to the standard container loading method, it can be launched by a semi-trailer flatbed truck through the road concealed mobile or it can be carried by a railway flatbed truck to become a missile train. And it can also be loaded on various ships as a marine mobile launching force and even fishing boats, etc. The system is deployed as a networking chain distribution which can achieve massive saturation attacks from various undetectable launch locations. In general, the container basically is used for a storage and transportation integrated launch too. So the launch platform only needs a simple hydraulic system and power supply system to launch the missile. Closely looking at container version as displayed, in addition to the missile launch tube and the launch tube holder, the container missile system has only a diesel engine and a hydraulic control device. Missile operating equipment, such as consoles, etc., has not been seen in the container. So in fact, the WS-600L container version integrates the original vehicle-mounted missile launching box and hydraulic system into a container, and is linked to the commander center. It has an independent diesel generator and does not require external power, which means that the deployment of the container missile system will be more flexible. <laughs>